Welcome to uh, spending time with Mr. Wright. Thank you guys for coming out. Thank the viewers and uh, the fans for your support. I really appreciate it. But uh, thank you guys for the questions. And uh, we're about to start the show. I'm going to answer all the questions you guys have asked me. So have yeah. got a lot of questions. Uh, the first question comes from Rick and Colton. He would like to know what team would you like to play for ideally? Get a chance. Uh, the team I would like to play for, uh, honestly, the team that drafts me first. And uh, hopefully it's, it's a team that that wants me the most and that's not too far away from home but uh any team would be great and uh I, it's just a blessing to be able to play in the nfl so okay uh, mike from pasadena wants to know do you want to stay close to home or uh and play here if you can kind of like the first question um i really i really don't have a choice and it's really not up to me and it's it's 32 teams and i just need one of those teams to like me the most and whether it's buffalo whether it's the raiders whether it's the Chargers, it don't even matter i just I was just happy to be able to play for those teams. Carl from Asperia wants to know, you're coming on a blitz, okay? There's a quarterback. He's standing there. Who would you like to get a hit stick on if you had a chance? If I had a chance to get a hit stick on any quarterback in the NFL, I would have to say Michael Vick. He's one of the, he's one of the best in the game. He's one of the fastest guys. And, you know, def defenders can really never get a good hit on him. So, I mean, if I can do that, that would be great. All love, though. No, all love for Michael Vick. On a serious note, uh, Ron from Porterville wants to know, what do you consider your biggest mistake slash regret of your career so far? My biggest mistake uh, or my biggest regret, I would have to say, uh, just not making grades, being ineligible that one year that, that set me back. And I feel like it was, even though I regret it, you know, I wish I could have played with my team, but it was a blessing in disguise. And I was able to come back this year and uh, play with this team this past season. And I love that I wouldn't trade it for the world, so. Uh, Chris from San Diego wants to know what NFL player do you model your game after or influences you the most? Um, I, I like to say Dora Revis and uh, Kamardi, they're the best players in the game. And I feel like uh, I have a lot of similarities of both of theirs. I mean, with Kamardi being aggressive at the line of scrimmage and being real patient, and, and Kamardi being a long, 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 long guy and uh, being able to get his hands on, on, on receivers. So I feel like I, I have a, I had a lot to the table. Okay. Um, a lot of guys watch film on guys that they're going to go up against. I came over here a couple of days ago. I saw you watching film on Daryl Revis, uh, another guy that plays your position. Do you do that often? Do you watch guys in your position? Yeah, I mean, I like I like to watch the guys that are the best at what they do. And, you know, I just try to find things that, that he brings to the table that I, I don't bring. And maybe I can learn some things from him to, to add to my, to my game and my skills that I have. So, I mean, I like to watch him as a player. I learn a lot from watching those guys. And, I get to watch NFL players, too, when he's going against them, too, so it helps. Okay. Uh, Jeremy from Phoenix wants to know, what do you think will be the hardest transition from college to the NFL? The hardest transition, I would say, is just the long seasons and uh, just being away from home and having long seasons and, you know, 16 games plus the postseason. So I think that would be the biggest adjustment, being able to play all those games every week. So uh, Stephanie wants to know, can she have your autograph? She says her boyfriend's a huge fan. And Stephanie, you can have my autograph, and your boyfriend can too if he wants one. And um, however we can make that work, I don't know, we'll but we'll figure it out, it out some way, somehow. Um, Joe from Colton wants, uh, would like to know if you have any expectations when going to a combine, and whether you are in competition with yourself or your peers. Um, the the combine, I feel like, is competition within yourself, and it's the grind season that, that comes before that. You're competing with yourself to, to go out there and work hard every day and prepare yourself, and, and you definitely you have expectations, and I have high expectations for myself. I, you know, I feel like I, I want to be one of the fastest guys out there, one of the strongest, and one of the smoothest guys out there when it comes to, to playing football. So, uh, Jeff from Pittsburgh says, uh, what separates Shirley Wright from the likes of Patrick Peterson, Brandon Harris, Jimmy Smith, and Janoris Jackson? Oh, Janoris Jenkins. Janoris Jenkins. All cornerbacks who are entering the draft as well. I mean, I feel, uh, I mean, something that I bring, I'm, I'm a good, I'm a great leader. I feel like I'll be a great, a great player to have in the locker room and, and to, to build a good team around. And, uh, I mean, athletically, I feel like I'm one of the fastest, one of the strongest guys. And, uh, and if you put all five of us in the room together, I'll probably be the first one out most likely. So. Uh, last question coming from Florida. Complete this sentence. Charlie's right is the blank corner entering the draft. The best corner entering the draft, hands down. All right. Thank you guys for uh, viewing the show. And those are the only questions that we have. Please 
10 more questions before the next show. And uh, I will answer any question you guys have. And another girl asked me a question about about my perfect woman. Um, I mean, I don't discriminate, so it doesn't matter her race. I know she asked about her the race of the girl. I mean, I mainly date Latino and Hispanic women, but I don't discriminate. I love them all. And you have to be educated because I'm educated and uh, I need somebody that I can talk to and, you know, not just talk about partying in Hollywood. I want to be able to talk about business and talk about the world and what goes on. So that's very important. Um... She has to be beautiful to me in my eyes, you know, and who know I mean I mean that's 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 just for me to tell and uh what else? She has to be she has to be, you know, down to earth and be you know, be down to do anything and I mean I'm an easy going person. She can't be too fancy or too bougie. That's just not me. And um You got an age range? You got an age range? Uh Age range, of course. <laughs> I'm 23 years old. I'll be 24 in April, so you have to be up in there. Most girls uh, under the age of 21 ain't too bright, and uh, and so you have to be over the age of 21, obviously. And uh, I want to say under the age of 26, cause uh, I like them older, kind of. So, um, what else did she ask? I want to answer all her questions. She had like five for me about women. But the perfect girl, yeah, just somebody that I can vibe with, relate to. You have to know how to dance. Um, uh, yeah, my mom has to love you because my mom is like the the most precious person to me in the world. So if she don't like you, then you're a no-go no matter what, no matter how beautiful you are. Even if you was Beyonce, if my mom don't approve, then I can't approve of you. But, um, yeah, that's it pretty much. And, uh if you want to know what's up, I mean, you got my YouTube, you know, you got my Facebook, my Twitter. Hit me up. Message me in the inbox. No, I'm just kidding. But, uh, yeah. But thank you guys for tuning in, though. That's it for tonight. And uh, I'm leaving to Mobile, Alabama on Saturday. My flight leaves Saturday morning uh, for the scene. But I'll be out there all week. You guys pray for me. Wish me the best. And I promise I will represent the Trojans, myself, my family, and my friends with real respect. So, uh. Just uh, thank you guys for the support and be looking forward to uh, seeing you, talking to you guys next week. Thank you. Appreciate it.